So what's up, y'all? This is Sess for Sidetrack Sessions. Just wanted to go over um, what it is that I would recommend doing when it comes to streaming, because you don't want to be streaming for zero people, zero viewers. What you want to do is you shouldn't have to do that. You know, you have friends that are, you know, willing to support. You have yourself. You, you could. So you, there's two things you can do by actually watching yourself is one, you can test the stream because it's not the same as just doing a test run on OBS or something. When you do a test stream, you can see how the internet connection is. You can see how you sound, how the video representation is and everything. So you're gonna wanna create a second account just to do a test run on your stream and as well to get you out of the, um, cause Twitch is all about discoverability. So if you don't have people watching you, you're gonna be down at the bottom with zero viewers and there's no reason you should be doing that. You can at least watch yourself for just one person, which is going to bump you up from that zero view. Let me just show you. So on here, if you can tell uh, with this. Speaking of which, that's my dog Insomniac Rap. Shout out Insomniac. He's uh, another rapper on Twitch like me. So on this, if you see over here to the left, let me just bring this over here. So now if you see right here on the left side, let me also do this real quick. On the window capture, let me uh, change this. So as you can see on this left side right here, with uh, you can't see the mouse anymore, but that's what I was trying to turn on. You just want to get out of being on the zero down at the bottom these people are offline but when you don't have any viewers right here on the left you could see where my mouse is you would you don't want that to be zero you at least want to have one person because after you bump up if this if insomniac rap gets another person or say he's uh on 17 and he gets 18 he's going to be bumped up above nathan right here so that's one of the reasons why you don't want to just be streaming for zero people zero viewers because uh, when you get one at least that's going to give you an advantage to actually um, end up not having um, not having to be at the bottom so that's one advantage of that as well um, now when it comes to what you want to stream is something that's going to give you an edge like it's not to say don't stream what you what you really love playing but just try to choose something that's not so saturated so when it comes to um, Rocket League or Grand Theft Auto, um, League of Legends, all those are really popular games. And again, do what you love, but also consider that when you're trying to get discovered at the beginning, until you get a following of people that know you're going to be playing this one, try to change it up and get other people to find you in other ways. Discoverability is number one in, in Twitch. So share yourself and get out there, most definitely. Definitely, um, when it comes to... Um, getting out there you want to have another social media you don't want to just be stuck with um twitch is the only form of promotion get yourself a facebook get yourself um anything that's going to allow you to get out there more than just streaming on twitch because it's not the same as a social media you can't just post something on twitch and expect people to like that nobody likes you promoting yourself on twitch it's not the same as other platforms so you want to have instagram twitter is very popular with streamers as well as um, just having um, any social media that you can promote yourself. If it's your own website, bring people back to Twitch if that's your main platform that you use. But ultimately, that's what the main thing with that is. Um, now, when it comes to creating that account, all you really want to do is just come up with another name, um, check in on your stream, test it. You'll also be your own viewer to get people to come in and start watching you. And once you get a following, then you won't have to do it as much. Um, and then that's basically it on how to get discovered. Discoverability is key on Twitch, so definitely uh, pay attention to that. Get your friends to watch, ask everybody to tune in, and if not, then go on another platform and attract them back to your Twitch, which is what I do on uh, when I first started before becoming an affiliate. So besides that, I do thank y'all for tuning in. Just wanted to get uh, down to that on making sure you're not streaming for zero viewers. Appreciate y'all. Check me out down at the bottom right here. It's uh, Twitch S Sessions. All right, peace.